I think the whole video should just be this bouncing honeycomb thing. Yeah, bouncing ha honeycombs. This is pretty good. Yeah, just it'll just be us staring at it. Oh. Yeah, bouncing honeycombs. Nothing, nothing else. Just, just bouncing honeycombs. Uh, yeah. which ones? Ah, game items, game items, game items, Jinjos. George, how? Uh, uh, <laughs> Hello, I'm welcome to Banjo. We have George and and very special guest Kevin, aka Chicken Wings, aka fucking cool dude who is living the dream. The dream is being lived by him. Also, we might be able to increase our health. I'm not sure. I think we have enough. I think we need nine for it. We might just have nine. Oh, we have enough honey goes for an extra unit. Isn't that good? We get to start by getting more health. I'm just... I'm already upset. George is... George, how behind are you now? Uh, let's see. It's still on objects and items in the menu. Ah, honeycomb started bouncing. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, bouncing. Wait, how did you know? Oh, well, I guess we were looking at the honeycombs for a while. We were we were looking at honeycombs for a while. Uh, so... I don't even know where to it's go. It's okay. I don't mind staring at the, the honeycombs. They remind me of something else. That well, eventually I'm, ev eventually I'm going to start staring at the boobs, George. That's eventually going to start happening. Oh no, boobs! I know, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll look back That's at the honeycombs. And then Yay. I look back at the boobs. And I look back at the honeycombs. And then we're done. Uh, Seriously, those honeycombs have so much productivity going on. I know, I mean, there's like... I think it's the, if, if you think just... it's the music going along with it as well. <laughs> it's just kind of... <laughs> oh, actually, wait, I think that was the next... I think that I was doing this level's music instead of honeybees. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't even know. I'm so upset. <laughs> you have enough honeycombs for one extra unit uh, of... George, home. stop! <laughs> George, why? <laughs> just, just be... Just be in the future, George. Just, I, I welcome you to the future. So, apparently George is a Highlander of some sorts. Yeah. There can only be one source of internet! Well, that does sort of explain things, considering... Zach, did you know that your health just went up? Did it now? Y y yes. Y you don't say. Oh, actually, there's not battery. Okay. Uh, there's a couple batteries here. Actually, we're gonna leave that battery alone. There's a battery on the floor below us that I'm gonna go pick up. Uh, cause here in Grunty Industries, some of the doors don't have enough power, so you gotta get batteries. Cause, you know, not paying battery bill and all. Also, apparently you had a dragon being in your backpack the entire time, and you should do something about it. No, that dragon's our friend Kazooie. Watch two episodes ago to find- We did side quests and Kazooie became a dragon. Which gives us infinite fire eggs and the ability to breathe fire, which is pr pretty neat. Also, I'm trying to remember where the damn battery was. Oh, I passed- I walked right by the battery. And yes, I did actually snap when I realized where the battery was. Pl please don't be angry. <laughs> you guys aren't angry, are you? I um, don't I'm, feel I'm emotions. Angry. Wait, you don't feel emotions, chicken? At the moment, at least. Just oh, well. Well, we're playing Banjo-Kazooie, so you should be feeling nothing but extreme happiness. Just Wait, overload- playing Banjo-Kazooie again? How far behind am I? I thought we did that last year. <laughs> well, you see- Oh god, George, you're a year behind! <laughs> or wait, no, I guess that makes you a year in the ahead now. Cause, Why, cause are, you're, are, cause are you're seeing- it again? No, you're seeing Banjo-Tooie right now. And I just said we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. So if we're playing Banjo-Kazooie, and play, we played Banjo-Kazooie a year ago, that means that you're a year ahead of us instead of a year behind. My god, time goes full circle. <laughs> I'm so far behind, I'm in front. <laughs> uh, so, um, I have a bottle of bleach underneath my sink. I can get to it in under five seconds. Sh should I opt to end my life now? Yes? Uh, no, maybe? No, 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 not, not right now. Oh, hey, a battery! Oh, uh, well, no, I, I passed by a, a couple batteries, so I don't know which one you're talking about. I'll just assume well, it was- the first one I've seen. I, I was about to say, I'll just assume it's the first one. Also, is it just me, or was that ball just part of your imagination? Yep. 
that that uh that that bolt is called a ten top. It's an enemy that tries to attack you, and it's based on the surveillance system of Grunty Industries. If you destroy the cameras before going into the room, they will not attack you. Well, aren't you so fascinating, Mr. Tinky Winky? Not really. Tinky Winky was the purple one, right? Uh, I believe so. I haven't even seen that. Oh wait, no, no. The purple, the purple one was Poe. Uh, no, the red one was Poe. Oh, what was the purple? Uh, one? The purple one, I think, was. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just second guessing myself. Then. Damn. Um, the the thing that uh, what's what's the bear? I only know Banjo? from like a mod of Smash Brothers where the Teletubbies were in it. Wait, there's a mod of Smash Brothers. No. Well, I mean, I, I know about... I may have Project. dreamt it. Well, there's like Project X or whatever they call it. That's like a mod. Yeah. Uh, Project M is what it's called, I think. Oh, Project M, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that one looks sweet, because they gave Wario Land a, uh, like... Or, or they gave Wario his, like, Wario Land moveset, and that sounds awesome. Because, uh, little known fact, I fucking love Wario Land. Do you now? Love Wario Land so much. I want them to give him his WarioWare moveset, where he just throws mini games at you. <laughs> that would actually be pretty entertaining. Um, so... Oh no, a metal honeycomb! I don't even know what you're talking about anymore, George. I don't even know! <laughs> so, uh, do you guys remember... Well, Chicken might not. Uh, I have a question for you after this, Chicken. But, uh, and... Oh shit, I just dropped my shoes by pressing B, because I wanted to do something. Uh, George, and Banjo-Kazooie, do you remember the, uh, the Twinklies? I do remember the Twinklies. Well, they got a new job! Unless that's a trick question and there weren't any Twinklies. No, the Twinklies were like the little Christmas lights in the Christmas level. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember those. Well, they got a new job here in Grunty Industries. What they do is they hop around all day and people go pick them up. Oh. Pretty good, pretty good gig, if you ask me. So, apparently, this is like underground Walmart. Yes. That that's explains the, all of That's the only response that I can, I think, just that answers your question is yes. Oh, that's where the batteries go. <laughs> George, are you joking or are you being serious? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Kazooie just started walking around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> George, you should really move to America so we have, like, a better connection to each other. I think that's the only solution. You mean move in so I'm literally right next to you? I wouldn't be opposed. I'll kick out my roommate. Be... Sorry, Cory. Well, good. She can fair, actually I'm... work for me. It, it could just be that my eyes are laggy. Chicken said he'd take you. You're welcome. I will pay you hourly with Nintendo games. That's a pretty good pay. Fuck, I'll move in with you, chicken. George, let's move in with chicken. Cory can live by herself. Uh, and I move. Okay. I'm not sure what I would have you guys do, but it'll be something. We'll work out in the yard. Uh, you, you, your shop needs, like, pretty flowers and stuff in front of it, right? Actually, I need cheerleaders. Oh, the Christmas tree light from Magic Kazooie. Chicken, chicken, he's our man. If he can't sell a game, then go fuck yourself. Okay, that was better than expected. Jesus Christ, Zach, why didn't you tell me this sooner? Chicken, chicken, he's our guy. You should buy a game. Bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> George and I are a team, by the way. Captain, my captain. I don't think there's anything else we need to check out. Actually, there's a Jinjo uh, that's on top of one of these boilers. You're supposed to get it a different way, but you can, if you're really good with your Clockwork Kazooie eggs, you can trick, uh, you can like do a trick shot and get one of them up there. But I'm not very good with aim and such as we've seen. George can vouch for how shitty my aim is. George, how long did we spend shooting the fish? Um, I don't think we ever actually hit any of the fish. It was 10 minutes. I know. I know how long it was, because I sat there in editing going, Oh god, I really should cut this out, but you and Sam are really funny. So, so there's that. Oh, hey, there's a jigsaw thing. Well, you're, you're catching up, maybe? Maybe I, you're catching up? Maybe. 
Okay, let's let's go let's go do more let's go do more batteries. Let's go grab more batteries and put them in places. How does that sound? Actually, do we need Kazooie? Ah, oh, we'll take Kazooie. With us. We'll probably find a warp pad. I ended the episode in a weird place last time, and now I don't remember how much progress we've made through uh, Grunty Industries. Because uh, Grunty, Grunty Industries is a really kind of weird level. Um, it's not a bad level, mind you. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I've always thought it was a cool level, because it's like, every level in this game is like wide open and huge. Because they were like, hey, look how big we can make levels, because uh, Banjo-Kazooie's levels weren't like anywhere near as big. And then this level's like, instead of having like a wide, huge, sprawling area, it's like more like six little areas, because there's five floors and then there's the outside. <laughs> so I don't know, I just always thought it was a neat place. It's basically Skyrim, except you play as a bear. Grunty and, and you're in a factory. Grunty Industries is basically Skyrim. Uh, if it was a factory. I've, uh, I've, I've, I can't, you do have a dragon. I, I can't say that I disagree. I've never played Skyrim, so I can't <clears throat> I can't tell you you're wrong. I mean, I can assume. Well, you play as the Dragonborn, who is a big hairy Nord who has a backpack which he stuffs dragons into. Well, I, I, I guess you're just right then, George. I guess I should just fucking close my mouth because George is always just right. There's a thing that we really like. I don't know why, but one of the, uh, the levels from a game that I did play a long time ago actually reminds me of the one we're on right now. I think it was, oh, like, uh, I think it was off of Epic Mickey, if I remember correctly. Epic Mickey, the, uh, when you say Epic Mickey, you mean, like, the, the new one that came out, like, two years ago or so, right? Um, I'd... I haven't even played the sequel yet. I've only played the uh, first. Oh yeah, one. Epic, epic Mickey one. Yeah, I was just making sure you meant uh, Epic Mickey and like not one of the like Castle Illusion or older ones. I've oh, never no. played a lot of Epic Mickey. I, I played a little bit and then I was kind of like, eh, this game's not so good. I, I really like the older Mickey games. What was that one where he like went through all of his old movies like uh, Mickey Mania? Steam. That that's the one. I did love the Mickey and the Beanstalk level just for the level description before the level started because it said the word Mickey like 12 times in one sentence. <laughs> it's like, help Mickey rescue Mickey and the Beanstalk Mickey from the Mickey and the Beanstalk Mickey level dangers stuff. And it, 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 it was just more Mickey than had ever been said in any other sentence before. <laughs> we actually do have that over at the store. And... I think there's been a few people that have actually picked it up and actually talked so much about the game. Yeah, actually, I have, I have a question for you, Chicken. Yes. What is your Banjo Kazooie history? Think, think of this as a job interview. Uh, Super Mario You're hired. RPG. Oh, well, you're still hired. Okay. Super Mario. RPG. Yes, it is. So, Mumbo gets a new spell every world. The spell he learned in this world is the magic of magnetism. So, does... Sexual magnetism. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, he's, he's made these two walls absolutely repulsed by each other. They won't even slam into each other like they used to. Yeah, because Mumbo's there, and Lady Wall only wants him. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's what happens. I'm... 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 I'm not there yet. Uh, we know, George. We know. Okay. So, Mumbo's magnet of sexual magnetism isn't very good because it, it has a time limit. So, you do something, it's like, you only have 40 seconds while the magic's in an act. So, you can't do um, what I normally like to do with Mumbo is just go and take care of all the Mumbo pads at once. You have to do them one at a time. I think there's only two in the level, because there's only two I can think of, and I hope I'm not forgetting another. Uh, but it might be, you know, memory's the first thing to go. Yeah, I mean, that that is realistic of sexual magnetism. There is a time limit on it. It doesn't last forever. Unless you're Sean Connery. Well, yeah. Well, no, it'll go away when he dies. I mean, uh, or maybe he'll just create an army of... Of necro files. I forgot. That. Oh, hey, Mumbo's in this level. Yeah, Mumbo is in this level, George. 
Right. Also, because we pushed that button, now that the crushers will stay open forever. So now we never have to go back to get Mumbo to open that up for us. Hooray! Hooray! Ooh, yay! Yeah. So, um, one of the harder jiggies in this game, um, or at least I think it's one of the harder jiggies in this game, is actually coming up. Oh, there's the battery door. And I really, really don't want to do it. In, in fact, uh, I, I, I wrote notes about this game. Um, just to, to keep it in my head what to do. And I remember when I wrote the note for this, I wrote... And this one page has, don't do it. <laughs> uh, if I don't do it, you mean a big frowny face, then yes. Oh, okay. It's just like, a jiggy blah out of ten frowny face. And that's enough of a descriptor for me to know which one it is. Good, good. So we're gonna deliver. I think this might be the last battery. There might be. A, I don't actually. Maybe there's a battery on floor five. I think this. No, this is totally has to be the last battery. Because I can only remember where three battery locations are, and we've already done them all. So unless somebody installed Banjo Tui DLC, that'd be like the weirdest DLC. It would be like the opposite of Day One DLC. It's like 13 year DLC for an N64 game. I have a question about the batteries. I would like to answer your question. Why batteries? Well, you see, Grunty the Witch is kind of a cheap ass. So rather than like paying for electricity, she just, th this factory is kind of like not doing anything. So she's like, why, why pay for anything that couldn't kill Banjo and Kazooie if they came through here? So. The, certain doors are battery operated because they they can be, I suppose. I've personally never seen a battery operated door, but this game makes makes them exist, I suppose. This game was made in England. Yeah, the... over here everything works by a battery. <laughs> My car won't start because the bat. Oh wait, cars actually. Have... <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> That's. Really My battery-powered cereal is delicious. <laughs> Your battery-powered cereal. It's full of daily dose of lithium. It's not. It's not like it's a battery-powered spoon that just shovels it in your mouth. That's more of an American creation. No, you're 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 you're. No, I mean the actual cereal. You put a battery in your bowl and it just starts shooting out like corn puffs. No, no, it's just a box full of like Batteries? battery flakes. Battery flakes. No wonder you guys yeah. are so depressed. This guy looks like no, an no, angry old it man. It gives you energy. Like, Fuck you, George. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't say that again. George. What'd yes. you just fucking say? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit actually angry. <laughs> At first I put up with you drawing dicks on the Wii Woo, and now this? Mm -hmm. We may have been drawing dicks on the Wii Woo before this. Uh, I was just drawing a sausage with legs. Uh, but you kept saying dicks. That's his name. It's short for Richard. <laughs> dicks, the sausage with legs. Mm -hmm. Dick Richards. George, have I ever told you that one day I'm gonna cut off your skin and wear it? Um, yes, repeatedly. Okay, because I probably I think it may have been the first thing you ever said to me. You know, this call reminds me of the first time we met, because it was you, me, and Chicken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It but was. That was like, what, 2009 or 2008? I don't remember. It was probably... 1992. Back, back in a bridge's heyday, 1992. Man. Yeah. Back when the Beatles were pretty much getting their start. 1992. And teaming the start up. Of the Beatles. And they were basically teaming up with Queen. When the world's greatest abridger, Four Kids, just came into business. Man. Yeah. I would really like to see Four Kids keep making stuff. It's a shame they went bankrupt. In other news, London Bridge. Non profit fan made down. parodies. No money in it. Holy shit! Oh, there's one more. I was about to say, did I do that all without missing one? But no, there's one more. Oh, oh in case you guys didn't notice, you want to hit. Oh my god, I did that without missing one! Wow. 
I, the shitty aim guy, <laughs> managed to do that without missing one. I love the fact that it's oh, ammo I haven't is... seen you do it without missing one yet. I love the when fact do, that I'll it's uh, it's ammo is just so slow that it will just break on slow. Wait, what? <laughs> it, it, I guess it's just um, I'm looking at it from my standpoint that the uh, the ammo is just going so slow that when it reaches the uh, the barrel or whatever that it explodes for. Oh. No, it was exploding because I was shooting grenades at it. I have grenade eggs. I might have left that detail out. Sorry, chicken. Oh. I have I have normal eggs, fire eggs, grenade eggs, ice eggs, and then I have um, excuse me, these eggs called Clockwork Kazooie eggs, and they're remote control bombs. Banjo Kazooie. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these dead tubs. Fucking robots. How do they work? Well, uh, they appear because I'm not killing their camera. Oh. You can take them out of grenade eggs, though. They're probably, the, I don't know where the camera is, but it'll be fine. Because as long as they don't get us off of our sticky shoes, we'll be fine. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that we had grenade eggs, chicken. I'm so sorry, I'm such a bad friend. Well, he should have known. Where, where else are baby grenades gonna come from? Um, holy shit, it's Spider-Man. That's a good point. Where are all of these baby grenade eggs? So do you guys want to try and take on one of my least favorite jiggies in the game? Oh hey, you made it through without missing one. Well done. I know. Oh, also I forgot to say, but you want to hit the blue ones. The other ones will explode. Or, they don't explode, but they make, like, poison gas. And if you hit the poison gas ones, you just need to run out of the room, and there's a button to the left that you push that turns on extractor fans that gets rid of the gas, and then I think you can start from where you left off. So, um, if you guys remember, and I don't know if... Neither, neither of you were there, uh, but in um, Glitter Gul Gulch Mine, there were uh, TNT sticks that we had to uh, kill, and you had to do the entire thing without firing an egg. Well, you can fire eggs in this level, but you need to get 20 clinkers, which are like little poop monsters that are on the, like, uh, like the vents, and they're, like, stinking up the place or something. I don't know. And you need to get rid of them in like 200 seconds or else you die or whatever. How's that How's that for a detailed explanation? Did that work? Do you guys understand what we're doing? I could go for some Cheerios about now. As far as I'm concerned, you haven't started doing it yet, so no. So Chicken wants Cheerios and you don't... And you don't even know, George. Oh god, he's not dying. Oh, you can kill those guys with fire eggs? Damn, I wish I would have known. Because uh, at this point we have infinite fire eggs, so fire eggs are normally my two go, my go, or not my two go, my go to egg. Because uh, even though grenade eggs are the best egg, you can't talk shit. No pun intended about clinkers. <laughs> about infinite eggs. If for some reason it almost sounded like you were saying it's my goatee. It's my goatee. I have effectively it. killed all polite conversation. I'm sorry. Now that, that would just mean that this uh, conversation was brought into a hairy situation. Oh god, chicken. Oh god. I'm basically here all night, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's okay. We're basically cleaning poop off with, with flaming eggs. It's it's not going to get any more lowbrow than this. So we might as well as just, just get all all the nasties out. What do you guys? What do you? What do you guys think? Is there? Are there? Are there any words you've ever wanted to say that you just felt like you couldn't? Um. Uh, no. This reminds me way too much of Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> Wonder why. Hmm. I don't know. But the game sometimes smells just like this one does. Like Earthbound. Oh, what, 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 oh, what that, good, uh, that's that's like high class uh, McDonald's. That's all I'm gonna say. Earthbound, high class McDonald's. Oh, we have two more and 40 seconds left. I can tell you all, right now, I'm probably not gonna find them. I always get lost navigating this place for for some reason. I don't know why, but just the the third or first person view just just kills 
with my ability to navigate. So it normally comes down to... Oh, I hey, get... a first-person shooter section started. <laughs> God damn it, George. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not your fault, but God damn it. <laughs> I think they don't instantly kill you whenever you're, uh, it hits zero seconds. I think they, they start to choke you, actually. Fuck, we already came in here. I didn't think we did. Um... So, so good news, we're not gonna die immediately. Bad news, uh, Banjo and Kazooie are, oh no, it's even worse. We're, they're, they're about to choke us and we're gonna run out of oxygen. And now there's a bunch of like brown gas on the screen. So, wait a minute, if I'm in the past, I can stop them from getting choked before it happens. George, you just have to find the last remaining two clinkers. If you can do it, we can, we can do this. Also, we're probably gonna have to do this section again. Because we're, we're dying very fast. No, no, I can do it. One quick question, though. What's a clinker? Well, they're like brown little poop stain things on um on the, the fan vent thingies. Okay. Yeah. So so we died. I'm sorry, George. Thank you. Thank you oh. for trying. I'm uh, um, I'm I'm sorry. It's going to happen. It's it's not your fault. So if you there's, there ha oh, I forgot. I know where I forgot one. There's one right here. I don't, I'm not sure if I shot that one while walking out. There's like a really good way to navigate this place where you hit up like everything and it works really well, but I'm not very good at anything. Can you guys name one thing I'm good at? Uh, Neither can I. Uh, um, um. Oh, hey, look, a wall. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like walls. Also, it would it would help, but um, I you you aim up and down with the uh, C buttons, and you can also strafe with the C buttons, which was which is pretty good on an N64 controller. Um, but I have to play this on an Xbox controller because I'm emulating this. Uh, whoops! Mm. Let the, that cat out of the bag again. Um, Shh! So that's so, illegal. Oh shit! You're right. It's not like I own this game or anything. And by that I mean own the copyright. Ah, yeah. high, highbrow, highbrow cardboard lawyer up here. Playing his copyrighted N64 games. Take that, Nintendo. Try to take that ad, ad revenue away from ad. Don't make any ad revenues. <laughs> take away that. What's what's 100% of zero? It's zero, man. How's that for you? I didn't even have to take a derivative. Also, this episode of Banjo something by the guy named Cardboard Lawyer is brought to you in part by the UWE. The UWE. Totally not a ripoff. Do they still make those like those those like little ripoff like uh, consoles that they sell like? Oh, the at, bootlegs. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The bootleg ones. I, oh I, yeah, I, those I, totally I, still exist. But do they make them of, like, modern consoles? Like, because I know that... Well, I, I guess I shouldn't ask. Cause I, I haven't I was... seen one for the Wii U, but I have seen plenty for the Wii. Yeah. Oh, yeah I guess that is a fair point. And, like, the 3DS things. Oh, I haven't seen a 3DS one. I've seen, like, Xbox ones and Wii ones. I've seen one where, um... I think I saw one called Double Screen 3D. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's good. We that was good. Here. Man, I am... I'm so fucking lost. 60 seconds and we have four. Of these you You've got 26 seconds. Wait. George, you still haven't seen me die in the other one? Nope. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Uh, I would say, yep. Yeah, maybe. Down I don't. There. So there's still time, Zach. <laughs> I can still make it. Oh, man. I don't even. I don't even remember where I've been anymore. I'm just probably running around in circles. I probably haven't even hit up the entire other damn half of this place. So uh oh, upset. toxic gas. George, stop. <laughs> You're upsetting me. Please, George, think of the kids. Are you thinking okay. of the kids now, George? Uh, whose kids? Um, I, I don't know. Do you know any kids? Um, I... I saw a show with a kid in it once. Oh, what was it like? Um, it was a One Piece movie, and oh. Nami went young and somehow oh God. became less annoying. Why are you think? Oh, oh, you're thinking of her. I thought you were thinking of the freaky little kid thing. Well, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, George. Oh God, this is. 
If only I if only I knew how to navigate myself within 3D space. I just uh, I'm so sorry everybody. This is oh, oh we have one left. If we could just find one in like 2 seconds. I bet it's right behind us somewhere. <laughs> Uh, so Alright, attempt number two. <laughs> George, uh, too high! <laughs> Why are you so behind? I don't know. <sighs> Later! That took forever! Oh my god, my pick results! Uh, oh hey, this Kazooie's a dragon. Uh, George, it happened a long time ago. We got the guy named G. Oh. What the fuck is a banjo? I just shot all the fucking clinkers. And now, I got clinkers in my... Uh, everything. Fuck. Oh, you just died for the second time. George! The bad internet is the secret to youth. Hold on to it. Back in my day, okay. there was nothing more than just Ocarina Time a bridge. Now we got the newfangled Wind Waker bridge by the Mountain West Lapdogs. You are gonna do that, right, George? Why would I do it? Shouldn't Adam West Lapdog do it? Uh, I forgot which one of you is which. What the hell's a little creepy? Oh, you senile old man. Uh, thanks for watching, Banjo. Thanks, uh, chicken. What's a chicken? Later still. We did it.